Recently, the senior special assistant to the president on media publicity, Mr. Shehu Garba, said the president will be working from home because his office needs renovation. Now, what's the cause of the renovation? According to reports, it is rats. Yes, rats. Today, we're out on the streets to talk to people about this rat problem, which was even covered by international media. Do they actually believe this story? Do Nigerians think the president is staying at home and working from home because of rats? or because he's just trying to recuperate after, of course, his illness. Let's find out what we get from Nigerians on the street today. My name is Shioma Tsuji, and you're watching Nigeria.com Street Just. Yeah, so all those stories are just cooked up. They are cooked up stories. I will tell somebody, uh, your president is coming back. There was no initial preparation. He just came in and they started running around. You know, it looked as if the man is just coming suddenly to the country. But I know the information must have been gone be, uh, you know, beforehand. And uh, the whole thing is just cook up story. You don't think it's true? You don't think it's real? Just cook up story. Just to cover up some things, man. Things like what? Uh, probably they want the man to stay at home for some time, you know, to take some drug and recover before, the, uh, you know, returning back to the office. And they just want, they, they've been looking for stories to back up the, you understand. Just, okay, let's present to them. You know, they are, you just look as if they're talking to children. Are you trying to say it's impossible for rats to be in Aso Villa? It's not possible. It's not possible for rats to be there? It's not possible. Why? What, what's so special about the place that they can be rats? No, it must have been fumigated before he, his arrival. Or, I, or except they want to tell us that the man traveled with the key to his office. Even at that, it's not possible because it's only when there are holes and the place is too wide that you know you can accommodate a rat. I don't think it's possible, man. Say. There is nowhere that you can't find a rat. A rat is an animal. So a rat lives with human being. Even if you go to, uh, like your own house, there's rats. Even the United States we are talking about, there's rats. Do you know that in U.S. today, rats have a privilege as a human being to live in U.S. If you have a rat in your office, you have no right to kill a rat because you have a right of living. That's what is going happen in the U.S. But if rats can in your office destroy any item or any documents, but that doesn't mean that you can't work there, no? They have cleaner. Let them clean the environment. Let them clean the office. Let them continue to your work. If there's rats in your house and rats eat your food or destroy your food item, will you run away? You will run away. Will you run away from the house? You will not. What you have to do is that you clean the house. Or you lay the trap for the rats. That is all. So are you saying you believe that rats actually destroyed the president's office? I can't really, really say. But to me, I don't know. I can't say what I did not see. So I can't just say it. But if you say rat destroyed his office, it's a normal thing. There's no way that you can't find a rat. It's a normal thing. So a rat is like a pet to we human beings. So you are confident there are rats in, in, in the president's office? Yes, there can be rats. There's no how, even though even, there's no even Queen Elizabeth, there's rats in his house. Okay. Uh, but considering the fact that the president was coming back from the UK, he has been there for some time, don't you think they could have renovated it before coming back, before he came back, rather? Yes, I would say so. Definitely they have cleaner in that place that work in the office, that cleans his office. So no matter the duty of a cleaner to clean that office before he come back. Some, some people believe that the story is a cook up. That they just want the president to rest more at home so that he can take some more drugs and you know be fit and healthy. What do you think about that? Ah, to me, I'm not sure that is a cook up story. It can happen to anybody. It can even happen to any office entirely. It can happen to anybody. That to me, I believe that is not a cook. Because even your personal house, you can see suddenly if you should go out now for office, under 10 minutes or one hour before you come by, discover that rats have messed up your room. What will you do? Will you relocate? No. You clean up the place. You start afresh. Start your work. I was like, it sounded funny though because I don't know, like, didn't they cover up the holes or the roof? Where did the rats come from? You know, it just sounded ridiculous. Like, are we even serious in this country? Like, how would you travel and a, a whole presidential, uh, the presidential villa? You know, so uh, um, it's, it's it just sounds ridiculous to me. You don't believe the story. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore because I just read, I read it online. So most of the news that we get these days is just online. So I don't know if that story has been verified, but it's what I'm just um, following by what I read.
online just for now. So you think it's true or not? Uh, I I think it will be. I don't know what to think. Seriously, maybe it's true. Definitely, maybe it's true. Okay. Um. So you're saying that you think rats can actually be in the presidential villa? That's what you're saying. <laughs> Seriously, to think of it again, it doesn't sound right because. Where do the rats want to come from? Because uh, <laughs> it sounds confusing when you think of when you think of it um, particularly. So uh, I I would like to wait for for the for the story to be verified before I can have a stance on that on that story. Some people have the opinion that it's not true, and they only put it out there because they want the president to stay at home, rest, and then you know probably take some more drugs and recuperate. What do you think about that? Yeah, I heard that. I also read that the president might want to travel back to London for more medical checkup. So probably all this is just propaganda, so that we'll be at home and you know rest and take more drugs. And because I heard his ailment is actually very, um, how will I put it? It's uh, um, excruciating, you know. So he still needs one. He's getting older. He's not. He's not a young man. He's like 73, 74. So. You know, at that age, it takes time to recover from any ailments that you have. So, I would feel I feel that maybe just propaganda for him to be at home to be able to recuperate and, you know, get better. Okay, I spoke with someone today, and person said that he feels it's probably spiritual. You know, maybe some bad people spiritual. turned into rats and then <laughs> went in to do the deed. What do you think about that? Uh, that's one of our problems in this country. We are too spiritual. God will do this. God will do that. That is. Pardon my language, but that is bullshit. Maybe you can censor that later in your in your video. But um, I don't I don't believe in that story that it's spiritual or anything. You know, if rats get in, it probably there are some structural defects in the building, or maybe the architect didn't design the building well for rats to be able to have access into the building. If we're assuming that the story is true, do you think somebody should be you know held accountable? Some somebody should be held responsible for that? Uh, I don't know. It, pro it might probably be political, so if anybody should be held responsible, maybe the opposition party, <laughs> PDP. <laughs> what they have said, we have believed. When he was in uh, abroad, we were complaining that he was in abroad. Now he's at home, very close to us. It's not a matter of being in the office or working from home that matter. What actually matters is to do what is needful to be done. Put the economic in place, security and every other thing. So that is all what we're after. Either he works from his bedroom, either from the kitchen or from the other room that he said, to, uh, that he called his wife. It doesn't matter to us. So we shouldn't bother ourselves with all this uh, issue. All what we should talk about, let, you, let everything be put in place. That is all what I'm all in about. Interestingly, that's exactly the same thing the national chairman of the APC said. Okay. Now my question to you is this. Somebody, or some people feel that the reason why they have said that is because the president is probably not strong enough to begin work and they want him at home so that he can probably take some drugs and you know still recuperate and get back to a hundred percent health status what do you think about that you see we are investigating too much things mm. he's a woman being when you are sick and you have been discharged from hospital you still need some time to be to be i mean to come back to your normal signs so it is normal either he's still not strong enough or not all what i am concerned about well, let the country be put there is something that somebody is doing the work there is a joint ticket between the president and the vice president. There is no vacuum. He was away for over 100 days. Was there any vacuum? No. Everything is going on. And the dollar is coming down south and every time. So his work not being done. So we should not give ourselves too much problem concerning particular phase or no phase. Let the work be put to place. I mean, let work be done normally. Let things be done. Either I work from home, you work from office. See, between me and you, don't let us deceive ourselves. If I am sick, for that long and they discharge me. In fact, I needed to be, I mean, to relax. By the time you are in the office, a lot of people want to come and be seeing you. Then you can aggravate the sickness again. So such person need to be left to rest. So, so far people want him to come, resign or resume. And he has resumed. And he said, I'm working from home. He's working, my brother. Right. Someone is not in the office, like, like I do, he's not in the office. Me, Boagi is not in the office like me. He's not working from and because rats have destroyed many things in his office. Do you think it's true or not? No, I don't believe that. Okay. Why? What's your reason? Let me tell you something. This country have already spoiled. You don't understand. Spoiled already. If, if 
God can help me youth. You don't understand. Just look for a job. You don't understand. This country, look at their son, daughter, their abroad, and we know they are suffering. Why? Look at me. See long speak us name. How long? I don't know. How long? I think there are rats in the presidential villa. No, I don't think so. There's no ah uh, presidential villa. Abuja. It's like paradise now. Huh? Eh? The rats can never go there. It's like paradise. Yeah, well, I read it today in the newspaper and I was like, how will that happen? Mm. As a rock of its own. How will um rats come across or go into such a place like that? Why, why do you feel there can't be rats there? Because um, in Nigeria, you know, things happen. A human being can just change to be a rat, just to like deform everything. You understand? So, you know, I, I don't just believe it. Rats can go into that place. You think the rats are spiritual because, rats? Because um, they are cleaners. There are people that clean. So how will it be possible that those cleaners for a very long time like this, they, will they say that they didn't go there to clean anything? No, we won't say so. So we mean maybe something um, beyond our own uh, imagination happen. You think it's a fake story then? Well, it's not a fake story. I mean, human beings can change to be rats also. Do you, think, you think it's like, like a spiritual? Maybe yeah, a spiritual. yeah, yeah. That is what I'm thinking. To me, that is what I'm thinking. Because I can't say it's a fake. I can't say it's a fake. Even though it's a fake, it's left for them. But seriously, if it is real, that is spiritually. That's what I can say. Who do you think could be behind such a thing that would change um, to a rat and destroy the office of the president of the nation? You know, anything you do, there are enemies behind. Whatever you do, there are enemies and there are friends that don't, they don't even like to see your own success and progress. So those are the kind of people we expect, we see. There are those people that turn who transform themselves to be those things, to destroy your work. That is the only thing. To just destroy your own government. That is what me, I think. You think these people can actually still stop, you know, Nigeria from progressing? These people changing into rats? Well, um, people will say that, uh, I can't really say, but they can't. If Wari can change the whole nation today, and people talk about him because of his own change, then he can do something again. I believe that, and I trust that man. Um, international media also covered this story. Do you think that um, gives us a very bad image? I mean, we don't have a great image already, but the fact that our president has been out for so long and then he came back and then rats destroyed his office, what kind of message do you think that sends to the rest of the world concerning Nigeria? Well, at least um, the, whole, the whole world will know Nigeria now. At least even the good, the bad, the ugly, they will still know Nigeria. Nigeria is what is happening and we still believe something like that won't happen again. What kind of rats do you think they could, could be? You think normal house rats or what kind of rats? Uh, well, let's see, yeah, house rat. Let's use the word house rat because we don't expect a big rat to be. How will it go into such kind of place? Just those uh, house rats who can just say, those rodents, that is the only thing I can do, say. Do you think somebody should be punished at Asu Rock for letting the rats in? No, I don't think because punishing anybody won't, won't um, change anything. The cleaners, maybe the fumigators. Um, it won't change anything. Sacking staff won't change anything. Cross my heart, sacking staff will not change anything for now. The only thing they need to do is just they should look forward in prayers. Every other religion should look down, should go down their knees to pray to God. That is the only thing that can change Nigeria now. If you're praying, can I actually fix the rat problem? Yeah. Well, if it is spiritually, it can fix. But if it is naturally, um. They have to look down on the workers and talk to them and maybe look for a way that they can control that. Uh, nothing really. At least if um, someone is sick, there should always be time for re recuperation. Right? So if he's working from home, fine. So far he can deliver on the promises that he made. So there's nothing wrong in him working from home. At least he have, um, he have all these uh, advisors and um, aides. So there's nothing wrong in all right, um, let's talk about the rats. Uh, I spoke with someone earlier today, and the person said, yes, there could be rats in the villa. What do you have to say to that? Do you think it's actually possible that there could be rats? Definitely now. Rats is everywhere now. Even here we are standing, there's rats. So in Nigeria now. Uh, what I just say is, I think there is a mismanagement of information. 
rat, when you say rat in the villa, I think they will always have this, uh, they will be budgeting, uh, uh, there will be a budget for um, environmental fumigation and all that. So saying rat is not making uh, the president to stay in his office, though it's uh, kind of um, humorous and funny, but I think uh, uh, there is a level of uh, incompetency from whoever is in charge anyway, but as I'm concerned, if you can work from home, it's okay, at least uh, they, before then, they will just um, fumigate the place and can go back to his office. You said something about incompetency. Are you saying somebody should be held accountable for that? Yeah, sure, definitely. People like, oh, this, I don't know the, this uh, Abakari, uh, Garubashi, or even uh, Mr. Femi. Or so. It's just funny because you don't expect that kind of uh, information to even go out to the public that uh, it's rats. Maybe they should just have uh, managed the information, maybe like... Uh, maybe the he can't um, uh, uh, work from office for now, but saying it is rats, you know, it's kind of uh, it's nothing. It doesn't make sense anyway to me. It doesn't make sense because how will you say so rat is chasing our president from office? I hope I hope the rat hasn't eaten our budget anyway, or maybe any of our stuff. But for me, it doesn't make sense. So that's just it. Some I spoke to someone earlier today, and the person said that well, it could be a spiritual rat. Maybe it was somebody, probably from the opposition party, that turned into a rat. And you, what do you have to say? Do you think it's possible? Uh, no, it's though in Africa now, anything is possible. But saying it, uh, no, you remember um, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati saying that uh, was it? Uh, I always remember this issue of uh, witches or is it wizard in Aso, Aso Villa? So I think it's just been. I, it's just, for me, you remember, I, I even read somewhere recently that uh, in, during the Obama administration too, there was rat in the Washington. 2013. 2013. So if rat can be in the uh, White House, so Aso Rock shouldn't be an exception, except for the fact that at least some, they'll be budgeting billions and millions for for the issue of um, fumigation in the uh, uh, Aso Villa, so still seeing rats and all that is... You, you don't think maybe it was the rat was from the opposition party or something? <laughs> from PDP or where? Yeah. I think that issue of rat is just doesn't make sense for me because uh, how will you say rat is spiritual rat? In Africa, we, you know, we believe so much things. I know some people that have been saying yeah, it's the issue of uh, uh, spiritual rat, but for me, no, 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 no. no. There's nothing like that. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. He feels it's not really about the rats. It's about the information. Information wasn't properly managed. Mm. Well, that's his own opinion. All sorts of people on the streets today. All sorts of opinions. Thank you guys for, for sticking with us. Thank you for watching Aircom TV. My name remains Shema Deitiji. Big shout out to the man behind the camera, Mr. Gift. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Um, if you've not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do that. Okay, please. You have to. We just passed thank you. Thanks to you guys. Of course, follow us on Twitter and Instagram to always catch up on us and know what we're up to. Goodbye.